Hi guys, this time I have a handbag here to show you and um, this is quite uh, newish and although this is uh, a vintage um, handbag, I would believe this is like 20 years old at least and um, this is the Dior Trotter or a Dior Girly in, um, in blue. Uh, but this is a bucket bag. So if you're my subscriber or <clears throat> you must have seen tons of Dior's that I have featured in the past, be it the crossbody, um, uh, Boston, shoulder, etc., etc. I've had it in red. I've had it in multi-pocket. I've had it I've probably um, owned probably 20 of these Dior's in different styles and in different colors, okay? But this is my very first <coughs> Dior bucket bag with double straps. And um, I think this could be uh, 20 years or it could be newer than that because it has a, um, a serial number. Uh, and this bag is in perfect perfect condition <clears throat> i couldn't ask for more because most of the dior handbags especially in the girly they would have um staining on them especially if you get the pink ones and um the pink one and some other color that has a staining right next to the <clears throat> straps as well which is inevitable when it comes to your handbags okay so this is very cute actually it's a very very tiny like a um it's it's a nice vertical tote guys <clears throat> but um you can only um use this as a handheld bag or put in a crook of your arm you cannot use this as a shoulder bag unless uh, you're very, very petite i guess <clears throat> okay so let's look at the measurements um okay so this is 11 this is 11 inches in um height and nine inches in um by nine inches 11 height nine inches by by six <clears throat> yeah six inches there you go so as you can see it has the rolled pipes normally on this kind of <clears throat> dior handbags the wear would always be obviously on the lining on the lining sometimes it would degrade um they call it degradation or whatever and i've had some of my dior's um replaced by my local cobbler with uh you know just another patent leather <laughs> okay and this one has two has double straps. <clears throat> uh, no, you can't, you can't use it. I'm petite, but I cannot use this as a shoulder bag. <clears throat> so as always, this has like a silky, silky uh, black lining that looks like this. And you can take everything out. It has one zippered compartment, the Christian Dior Paris, and then, oh jeez, the, I'm not sure if you can, MU, that's the, if you can see the um, serial number here. Okay. And yeah, so this is a very, very, a very, very tiny bag, guys. <coughs> it's a very, very tiny handbag. And um, yeah. And this has, it has a uh, Christian Dior. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, oh, this was purchased in March 3, 2022. Seriously? Just last year? Okay. So, yeah. It's, it's a very, very kind of, uh, it's a very, very nice handbag, but uh, I wish I could just wear this as a shoulder bag, but um, yeah, 
it's, it's, it's in perfect condition. And I would like to um, compare it to my Louis <coughs> double, double, double thingy too. <laughs> I don't think I have uh, uploaded. I'm not sure if I have uploaded. This is also in perfect condition. So they're almost the same in height. Yeah, and look at that. Perfect. And look at this in red, red, red Alcantara lining. This. And yeah, I have, these are both in perfect condition. So, um, yeah, but it's very, very hard to find uh, a vintage or a bag that is in perfect condition, guys, especially on the Dior um, uh, side. There's always, you will always find a flaw when it comes to Dior um, handbags, especially the girly or Diorissimo type. So, so there you go. Okay, bye.